Here we go. This one was requested, a promise. That's it, that's all you get. Told you I don't really know how to play it. <laughs> Dog timer! I think I figured it out. I think I figured out the dog timer. Chickens are out there just hanging out being awesome. You can hear them. I just said hi to them. Every time I go near them, they run off. They're scared of me. I don't know why. I'm not mean to them. Usually, though, when the chickens see me, like I said, I don't do anything. My wife does all the stuff with the chickens. Uh, when they see me, I have something like a lawnmower. Or I, sometimes I go in there with a tiller, and I till up the, all the dirt where they've been hanging out so they can get to the worms easier or whatever. I don't know. They dig holes, though. They dig holes, and then it rains, and then there's puddles in there. And I figure they don't like that, probably. They might. Check this out, everyone. This is what I was talking about. Jazz Kitty, and it's backwards. I'm sorry, that's the way this goes on lives, but look at that. Cluckingham Palace, that's what we call our chicken coop, and she has made this for us. I don't know, I mean, honestly, I'd, I'd like to kid about my detail, but if you wanna talk about detail, there is so much so much in this that is so cool and thank you we love it thank you again for saying it she will do that for you everyone if you ask her she will make you awesome awesome things like that jazz kitty she's right here you're awesome peace in the middle east booyah isn't that how that goes peace all right the dog timer's working we're in good shape. Thank you for uh, looking out, though, those of you who, who helped me out last time. Let's keep on trucking. Let's keep going. This one is for Lorna. How you doing, Lorna? How goes it? Right on. Thank you so much. And we got to ship it. Shipped. All right. Here we go. Alex. You know what's funny is I ran down. <laughs> I ran down to our house to get more water on the break. And as I was running, I could hear my... I can hear my markers in there jingling. <laughs> I didn't lose any of them, though. And once again, it's working. 209er. Alex, what's happening? Right on, Alex. Thank you so much. You're an outlaw. You know that. You already knew that anyway. Anna Marie. Yes, ma'am. I feel like Anna Marie is uh, someone that you would say, yes, ma'am. I think that your name commands that. Thank you, Anna Marie. 
You are an outlaw for life, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Miss Kate. This is so cool, everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being part of this. What a cool day. Right on, Kate. We're about to ship it. Thank you so much. Ship it! Billy Bouton. Billy Bouton. Billy Button. Benjamin Button. Do you think that's who this is? Billy Bouton. Right on, Billy. Billy, just tell me the truth, man. Do you actually get younger as time goes on? Benji Button? Ship it! <laughs> awesome! Oh my goodness, this one is from Marilyn M., who I'm pretty sure is Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson hanging out. Marilyn M., thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I like it. Marilyn. Marilyn says, never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. That's cool. I like that one. Cool club. Cool one, Marilyn M. You're a beautiful person. Get it? Yes. Ship it. <laughs> you guys, I'm so sorry that I'm an absolute crazy person. I realize that I'm crazy. I realize it. I recognize it. I promise you I know. I'm aware. But I'm sorry to put you through that. But we're partying, aren't we? This one's for Chris. All right, so Chris, I didn't get these scars falling over in church. <laughs> right on, man. Right on, Chris. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, right on. Everyone, Louie the legend is in the coop. Welcome, Louie the Legend. <laughs> right on.
All right, Louis the Legend. That is awesome. Louis the Legend left the gang after the gang left Louis the Legend. I don't blame you a bit, man. I don't blame you. And besides, what choice did you have, man? Right on. Thanks, Louis the Legend. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. So here we got uh, Sandra Sanchez. What's happening, Sandra? What's happening? All right, Sandra, people don't forget and nothing gets forgiven. Right on. Put this over here like this. Just like that. Ship it. So when I switch, when I ship it, the computer does this weird thing where it shows me like two ahead of the next one that I'm going to do. I don't know why, but it flashes a picture that's not correct. And then it, then it gives me the actual next order. So I'm sorry. This one's for Jace Rosso. Hell loss for life, Jace. Right on, man. Thank you. Thank you, Jace. All right, this is cool. This is from Chloe. It says, hi, from France. Hi, France. What's happening? Awesome. Thanks for hanging out. Can you write or draw something? Yes, I can. And I wanted to say that I've sent draws to you via your Instagram messages at... I'm going to share it. I'm going to share your name because I want other people to see your work too. And, and I don't know for sure if I have seen it based off your name or not. But I'm, I'm going to check it out. And then I'll know for sure if I've seen it before or not. But thank you for sharing your artwork with me. I really appreciate it. And, and with everyone. I'm telling you, I, I really, really love it. Look, obviously, I love it when people share their artwork with me. Because when other people see it, it inspires them to, I think, a lot of times, do that kind of stuff themselves. And I think that can provide a lot of happiness. And a lot of entertainment and just really good... It's good when people create things artistically. I think it's good for all of us. So thank you for sharing that. And your name on Instagram is Dream Like a Fox. Written out at Dream Like a Fox. Chloe. And you have a beautiful name too with the two little dots over the E. So cool. Chloe, so. <laughs> we have we have four dogs right now. Four, which is too, too many. But they're all awesome. Whatever. We love them. We, we love them. So we're glad to have them. But it's just a lot of dogs. But So we have Sophie and Bella, and we've had them for eight years. And then we've recently got two boxer puppies. And their names are um, June is the girl and Cassius is the male. But June, when we first got her for like the first two weeks maybe, her name was Chloe. Her name was Chloe because 
boxers a lot of times on their you know wherever it is that it starts but like for for june she's got white like just on her fingernails almost so we decided that we would name her chloe because we thought that was a french name and she's got french tips <laughs> That's the truth, Chloe. And then we decided that we wanted her name to be June. So her name's not Chloe anymore. She's still got the French tips. That's right. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I can't wait to know for sure that I've seen your artwork. All right. So you want me to... Uh, I'm going to write something, I think. I'm going to write something instead of draw something. Because I think that especially someone like you who has skill it's not funny to uh, to keep my routine up with someone like you. Maybe it is. Maybe that's just what you need. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. Or, or am I? So I've decided, Chloe, that it is better if I draw you a picture. So I'm going to. This is for you, Chloe. You're an outlaw for life. And I drew a picture of myself. That's a self-portrait right there. It's all about details. You know. You're an artist. You get it. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Shipped. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, cool. Well, th listen, all right, so this is Nathan Rosales. And uh, put a four, like the number four, somewhere on the paper. That says, wasn't very fortunate with money when I was younger, and it's the only game I ever played. So thank you. Right on, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I don't know what the four means, but it doesn't matter that I don't know. If you like it, and it means something to you, I'm happy to do it, man. Thank you. Um, also, also, you eat babies. Also, you eat babies. Because you played Undead Nightmare, so you must be a baby-eating person. <laughs> Nathan, thank you, man. Right on. That one's on its way to you. Oh, boys and girls. Here we go. So, Nigel, what's happening? Nigel West Dickens. Oh, Okay, so this one says, my name on the back, please. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nigel. And then it says, could you draw me um, John Marston sitting on a horse? Yes, I can. Yes, I can, and I will. Yes, I can. And I want to tell you, really, more than anything, um, when I do these drawings, what I like to do is, I just like to really make sure that I have all of the details 
sharp, present and sharp. You know what I mean? I think that's what really kind of makes, that's really kind of what makes my art style unique is the, uh, probably the detail more than anything. So, uh, Nigel, man, I, I really hope you like it. And I really appreciate you reaching out, man. This is the detail more than anything. Thank you, man. Right on, Nigel. Right on. Oh! And the truth will set you free. Almost dropped the ball on that one. Heck on. There you go, Nigel. <laughs> Thank you, man. Alexis. All right, let's do it. Alexis, you're an outlaw for the rest of your life. <laughs> you know that. You know that. Uh, Rob, okay, I'm sorry. I just looked up and I noticed this. It says, uh, Rob, show me the feet. You want to see, do you want to see my feet? I'll show you my feet. Alexis, that one's for you. Thank you. Uh, Everyone, I can't even remember who said it. Somebody wants to see my feet. Can you see that? There's one foot. Same, same thing on this foot. Got some boots on. What? There you go, right? Yeah, show us the feet. You saw them. You saw them. And then, the, please, no. I don't want to see your feet. That's guy. Yeah, you know what? We're done with that. <laughs> All right. This one is kind of wild. I like it a lot. Oh, I like this a lot. 267. Let's see what we got here. This one's uh, for Dead Friend Redemption. Okay, and it says, I do YouTube videos and TikToks, and John is the best character in Red Dead. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, I say man. I don't know. You might be a woman. Thank you. Thank you, Dead Friend Redemption. Undead Nightmare was the first game in the series I ever played. <laughs> That's awesome. You eat babies. You eat babies. Dead Friend Redemption. Everyone check them out. They are on uh, YouTube and TikTok. Dead Friend Redemption. Thank you so much. And I think it's awesome that... I, I don't know how that was the first game you ever played, but um, I, maybe that's the case for a lot of you. I have no idea. But I'm glad that you liked it enough to go play... Uh, Red Dead and Red Dead 2 as well. I, I guess, I guess that you played those games. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did. What does this mean here? View message. I might mess this whole thing up, but I got something on here that I haven't seen before. Oh my goodness, it's a video. It's a dude. And I can't hear it. Here we go. 
Everyone listen closely. Hey Rob, it's Different Redemption. Hope you're good, mate. Uh, thank you for signing it. I can't wait to the autograph. It's going to look amazing. Uh, and I'll see you April. Hope you're good and hope you're well. All right on! I hope you're good and I hope you're well, man. Thank you for the video. That's so cool. Send me a video. And uh, everyone, he's going to be in Liverpool April 1st and 2nd. I'm going to meet you in Liverpool, man. Thank you so much. And that'll be cool to meet you face to face. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Yes. So cool. Sent me a video. I love that. All right. Nate Taylor. Outlaws for life, Nate Taylor. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, if you're in the area, it's going to be uh, Alex McKenna, who played Sadie Adler. Uh, Benjamin Byron Davis, who played Dutch Vanderlyn. Roger Clark, who played Arthur Morgan. And myself, we will be in Liverpool. April 1st and 2nd. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. The last time, the four of us together, we had a great time, as we always do. But we, uh, we were in Scotland, and we got to hang out and check out all kinds of cool things and eat new foods. And I mean, new to us, I guess. I had uh, haggis. I ate haggis. And I remember... When I first said the lines that John was talking to Bar Bonnie McFarlane, talking about his dad from, came over the, on the boat from Scotland who wore a kilt and ate haggis. I didn't know what haggis was. I had to ask them, like, what is it, even is that? Um, but I had it. I ate it. It was good. I don't know that I would eat it every day. Uh, I bet if I lived in Scotland, I might, honestly. I guess the thing is, I don't know where you'd find it around here. It's not something that we have all the time. Um, but I ate haggis. And I ate oysters because I was with Ben. <laughs> ben loves oysters. He loves them. Yeah, we all did. We all ate oysters. Um, and we all ate haggis. And we all... Of course, uh, tried different types of whiskey. We were in Scotland. What are you going to do? You're going to party. And we did. And it was awesome. And I'm sure in Liverpool, we will do a whole lot more of the same. Checking out the local dishes. All right, Luis. And I don't know if this is my friend, Luis. If it is, I think you're hanging out, man. If, if this is the Luis that I actually know, thank you so much, man. And if it's a, if it's a Luis that I don't know, thank you so much, man. Um, right on. Yeah, I, I have been so fortunate to experience all this really cool stuff. And thank you for, for making this whole thing so special for me. Thank you, all of you. Um, okay, so this is Monet Jemot. Pretty sure. All right. <laughs> All right, Monet. Right on. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's 
So, uh, here's what's going on. Like I said, I don't have enough prints to fulfill all the orders. I just don't have them. So we're going to do this again when I get them. Um, one of these times when we take a break, probably not the next one, but one of the times when we take a break, I'm going to take a little bit more time, probably grab something to eat, whatever. But I'm also going to go down and check the mail and see if more pictures came. Hopefully they did. I don't know. Otherwise, we're going to have to come back and do this next weekend as well. But I got five more of these. Five more of these left, and I've got way more than five more to fulfill. So, um, we'll just have to skip the, the ones, I guess, until later. Yeah, I guess. I don't, know what, I don't know what to do. And I'm really sorry if that's a huge inconvenience for anyone. I really apologize. Waikie Chin. Right on. Thank you so much. He's, uh, he, okay, so I'm going to read it. It says, Rob, you genuinely have one of the most unique voices on the planet. Sometimes it's enough to make my day better. That's really kind of you. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And then, um, I don't know what this thing is that you want me to write, but I will be happy to write it for you. All right. I have no idea what this means. I do know what it means. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is a moment. This is a me moment. Once again, caught live. I'm going to explain to you what I've just done. <laughs> okay. Once again, thank you, uh, Waiki, for your very, very kind words. And, uh... So what you what you said after that is write John Marston under your signature, please. Write John Marston under your signature, please. That's what it says, but it says it all squeezed together because there wasn't enough space probably on the order form to write what he actually wanted to write. But he took all the space up saying such kind things to me. Thank you, Wikey, and I'm sorry. Everyone, we're going to start over on this one. <laughs> what, a, what a dummy. Wow. Dang, gone. Thank you so much, man. I get it now. I get it now. That's really, really kind of you, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And the good news is we didn't have enough of them to fulfill the orders anyway. So we'll get them. We'll get them done. Yours is done. And now it's shipped. And uh... <laughs> this one is to Blake. Oh, my goodness. And every time, Blake, and I apologize because you've probably heard this too many times, but anyone and everyone, please do yourself a favor and YouTube, sorry, Blake, I'm sorry, YouTube, Key and Peel, I don't even know what it would be called, Substitute Teacher, whatever, where he's mispronouncing all the names, Balaki. It is the fun it is the funniest skit I have ever seen. And it's and it's funny every time I watch it. Please watch it. It's so good.
Hey, Blake, you eat babies, man. And I'm sorry. Sorry, I know you've probably heard that too many times. So I apologize for bringing it up again. I hope you enjoy the video, though, too. <laughs> and I'm telling you, if you've never seen it, dude, please check it out. So funny. All right, moving on. Moving on. Reese. Right, Reese, on the back. Right on. Ten minutes. Ten minute warning. Right on. All right. Outlaws for life. You got it. You got it, Reese. Just as you... As you uh, tell me to do it, I hope that works out for you, man. Thank you. Thank you, Reese. And Julian. And Julian, um, no special instructions. All right, Ann. Outlaws for life, and that's kind of my go-to. If you don't have Anything specific that you've written, I, I try to add something. Unless it says don't, I'll put Outlaws for Life on most of them. Thank you, and Julian. Right on. And, and Julian again. Thank you, and Julian. This one has no special instructions whatsoever. Um... I got a question. I'm going to ask this and I'm going to read for a second. I'm going to read your responses for a second. So this has no special instructions, meaning don't write anything at all. Just sign it, send it. So typically I like to write something other than just a signature. Would you prefer, if it doesn't say any kind of special instructions, do you want Outlaws for Life on it or do you just want a signature? Hi, everyone. This is awesome. Thank you. Chloe is here. Hi, Chloe. Ah, oh, I love Chloe. Chloe and I have known each other for a long time. Chloe and I sang Johnny Cash together on a live. We sang Johnny Cash. Um, what did we sing? Ring of Fire, I think. And then we danced together. We've done a lot of really cool, fun things. And uh, I'd like to have you on a live at some point, Chloe, for your photography page. I want to know more about it. I want to know what's going on with you. And nobody's answered me, by the way. Outlaws for Life. There it is. All right. I would like Outlaws for Life. I would. Okay, cool. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do then. I want to make sure people are getting what you want. You know what I mean? Or this one. You know, I always want to write, you eat babies, because that's kind of what this is about, right? I think... I think instead, though, I'm just going to write Outlaws for Life. Everybody gets to contribute, right? Everyone. Everyone. It's helping me make decisions. All right. Thank you so much, Ann. So cool. And so this one is to nobody. And so I guess in this case, I don't write any names on it, obviously. Because who's what I write? Thank you, brother. Ah, all right. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah, that is cool. So this guy, uh, his name is John. And he wrote, five minute warning. So this is for John. And he wanted me to write, thank you, brother. Signed by John. As if John is uh, maybe writing a note to either Arthur or to John. Yeah. Right on. I like that a lot. That's really cool. All right, John. Thanks, man. Like your style. Oh, another good quote. All right, so this one is uh, to nobody. Thank you, whoever you are. Your quote is cool. I am always honest, maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. I like that. Right on. Thank you. <laughs> Alex Woods. <laughs> All right, so this is Alex Woods, and Alex actually requested that I sign You Eat Babies. <laughs> right on. Thank you, Alex. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Nina. All right. <laughs> okay, so Nina asked me to surprise her with one of two lines. And the first one is, hold on. You can't, can you actually see what I'm writing? I don't know if you can or not. Uh, so Nina, I don't know if you can see what I just wrote. Let's pretend that you didn't watch that before. Uh, because it says, can you please surprise me with one of these two lines? People don't forget nothing gets forgiven or don't annoy me. And then it wrote, and then, thank you so, so much. Love you, X. Anna, Nina, thank you. And uh, I may have chosen one of your lines, and I may have come up with one of my own. You're going to have to wait and see, unless you already know, because you saw it. I don't know if you can see it or not. All right, Nina. Thank you. All right, so here's the deal. This is the deal. This is the very last one of these prints that I have right now. And this one is for Tristan. 
And I don't know. I mean, I think a lot, a lot of people ordered this print. So I'm going to just move on whenever I come up to that again, if it lets me, and go on to the next order until, uh, until we get through everything that we have, right? Um, Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm, just, I'm sorry I'm reading this. But yeah, we're going to have to figure this out. We're going to figure it out together. Oh my goodness. Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. The bell. The dog. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm being stupid. Um, so let me do this one. Tristan. Don't be too weird. All right, so Tristan, don't be too eager to grow up. It's not as fun as it looks. Um, and then, hey, and thank you very much for your kind words, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Right on. So that one is the very last one of this print that I have on me. There are more orders of this print. I don't have them. So... We're going to have to wait until I get them to do those, but um, I'm so sorry if you ordered that and um, you haven't seen me sign it yet. You're absolutely welcome to hang out and party with us, but um, I won't be getting to yours today, I don't think. I have to check the mail. I, you know what? Maybe, I, maybe I'll do that now. On this break, I'm going to go check the mail, see if anything came. So this, this break might be a little bit longer than the first couple. Um, but yeah, I need to know if I got those prints or not. And I would have them by now if the mail brought them today. So I'm going to check and, uh, I would love it if it came cause then we can just keep on trucking. But let's, uh, let's say like what, 20, 30 minutes, maybe then we'll be back and we'll be doing it again. Right on. So, um, see you then. All right. Take it easy.